and welcome to the Wyoming Knits podcast. This is episode five. My name is Jenny Lee, and I'm coming to you from Southwest Wyoming. You can find me on Instagram as Jenny Lee Knits, and you can find me on Ravelry as Jenny Lee S. Knits. Um, this is my channel where I like to talk about all the things knitting and everything that I've been working on over the past few weeks. So let's just get right into it. I have two finished objects for you and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six whips, but let's start with finished objects. My first finished object is my Garter Abyss shawl by Stephen West. I finally got it finished. When he says garter abyss, he really does mean garter abyss. This took so long to finish. So here is where I started binding off. all the way to the other end. I think it took me about two nights, maybe three to bind this off all the way. It is a huge whirl. Um, I think it's going to be really nice to wear. You can just throw it around your shoulders a few times. It'll be nice and warm for next year. I'll have to play with it a little and see See how I like to wear it, but it is finished. Um, all of the colors that I used and the project page will be linked below in the description box. Um, oh, can I even get it back off? So it starts from a light purple and fades into green. So that is my first finished object. My second finished object is a pair of socks. These are my socks for the Desert Vista Dye Works ninth annual sock club that she's doing this year. These are Zombody Zumba. So I finished them on Thursday. Today is Sunday. Sunday the 20 something. 23rd. Sunday the 23rd. And I finished them on Thursday. So um, for these ones... I haven't been making my Desert Vista Dye Work socks match. They're just for me. They're going to go on my feet and they're going to keep my feet warm. And that's all that matters. I did get a haircut on Thursday. I was knitting on these and I was under the cape and my fingers were just going, going, going. And my, my hairdresser said, are you really knitting under there? And I said, yeah. She says, you don't have to watch. No. So those are finished. They're going to go in my box of Desert Vista Dye Work socks. And I will give them to myself when I finish December's. 
and then we'll go into um, works in progress. So my first work in progress I want to share with you is my labyrinth socks and my Molly Klein Designs bag. I got the, the first one done. I was right here last time, so I finished the foot and the toe. And cast on the cuff. So Thursday after I got home from getting my hair cut, I spent some more time on these. I worked on them Friday. We didn't have school on Friday, so I was able to finish this sock and start the cuff on the next one. So these ones are for me. I cast on 56 stitches for all my socks. I do a two by two rib. Most of the time, plain stockinette, slip stitch, L flap, and just a rounded toe. I do most of my socks on nine inch circulars. These were on a size one, 2.25 millimeter. 2.25 millimeter and then I switch to magic loop for the toe. So second one's ready to work on after school and my second uh, work in progress is another pair of socks. This is in my my needles my needle crafts bag. Um, this is another one that I finished the first sock. These are for one of the ladies that I work with. Her favorite color is purple. So I did sixty four stitches on a size one, two by two rib, vanilla, slip stitch, and then I did the contrast color on the toe. Um, I think I finished this one and my labyrinth socks on the same day. I finished the sock, finished the other sock, cast on both cuffs, and I've been working on the second one today. I've got about this far. So hopefully I can have these done before the end of the school year so I can gift them to her. Oh, I forgot. These ones are a Happy Mermaid yarn in the color Goblin King. These ones are some that I got off Zoo Lily Zen Yarn Garden. There'll be a link below for this one. I don't have the original tag, but hopefully these will be done soon. And that is all my sock whips for right now. I'm sure I will be casting on a new pair soon. My 
Next whip that I would like to share with you is a baby blanket that I have in my Bags by Awesome Granny, my book bag with the words on the inside. This one is the Cuddly Soft Baby Blanket. Candy Lou Creations, I think. Oh, I'll have that linked. I'm using some Karen Simply Soft, and this is the Gray Heather. It's a tweed. And one of the ladies I work with. She's having a grandbaby this summer and asked if I could make a blanket. So I'm making this for her grandbaby. It's going to be so soft. So I've been working on this. The baby's due in June, I think. So this is going to be some of my after school knitting. The next thing I wanna share with you is my um, Garter Marler cardigan. Nope, Marled Mania cardi cardigan. Um, I think last time I had done the collar split for sleeves and right there's my marker. So I did the rest of the body and now I'm ready to pick up the sleeves and finish those. But I needed the size eight needles for the baby blanket. So this one's on, on a break until I get the baby blanket done. And then we'll come back to it. It's just a scrappy project. There's no deadline. And my other cardigan, I've worked on a little bit more. The Big Cozy Cardi by Andrea Mowry. Um, last time I was right here. And worked on it a little. Oops. Made some progress. Um... It's a four row repeat with some knits and pearls. So I have to concentrate. It's not something I can just sit down and do the same thing. I have to count when I do this one. So I usually do this one on weekends or when I don't really, um, when I need to think about it. And so I can't just zone out and watch TV and work on this. This is, this is a weekend project. What's in a, a bag by Sassy Sacks. I'll have that linked also. And then my last thing I've worked on is my scrap witchery using my row one. You just reach in, grab the next color, and I've got pretty far. It's so, so squishy. It's going to be fun to cuddle up with. I think last time I was clear down here. 
put in a few more colors. Um, these, these other stitch markers, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This was the first one. This is January. And I am working on February. This little heart marks where February started. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight colors in. I have two more left for February. And then I can start on March. I'm just holding it double with some Knit Pick Stroll. This is the Dove Heather. And I think after I put in May, May will be the last, the last set. And then it should be done. Um, I think she designed this to go with Christmas Advent. So that's 500 grams. And the minis come in 10, 10 gram minis. So five months equals 500 grams. And so after I'm done with May, this blanket should be done. Um, it's an easy repeat to follow. I don't remember if I said who this was by. This is by Lindsay of Scrap Witchery. Um, so I'm going to be making that one. And that is everything I have worked on in the last two weeks. I did purchase some yarn. Um, Knit Picks had a sale on their bear yarn, so I got some bear glimmer. I've got, I got five of these, so when I do my next blanket, I can hold it with the glitter. And then I got um, Dragon Horde Yarn is doing a pre-order for the Faded Comfort Fade Cardi by Andrea Mowry. And so I'm going to do, I think it goes this way. Um, the world needs more healers, roses, court of dreams, and then the mid. The Morgan and I did place an order through Big Sky Yarn and I got these colors. See you later alligator, sugar plum fairy, and fizzle pop. See you later alligator, sugar plum fairy, and fizzle pop. So these will be some fun socks. That is everything I've worked on in the, in the last two weeks. Um, it is finally getting warm here in Southwest Wyoming. School's almost out. We have less than 30 days that we have to wake up and go to school. We're in the middle of our state testing. Pretty soon we'll have field trips. And then it will be summer. So until next time, happy knitting.